Hey everyone, how's it going? So I just got back to my apartment after being gone for a few days and my plants were thirsty. I just watered them as soon as I got here and they're perking up now but I don't think this is really working out the way I'm doing it. So I've come up with a solution that's hopefully going to help keep my plants stay more hydrated for longer. And so I actually bought freezer bags, large freezer bags, and I just put them around my pots like this, folded the tops down. And so I'm going to use this as a water wicking system. And so when I water this a lot, water is going to collect in the bottom of the bags and it's going to keep that water available for the soil to absorb more moisture over a longer period of time thus my plants are not going to be wilty like this and so we'll see how that works so I'll show you how I did this one so I got a pack of 28 because I got quite a few pots here the, the various sizes but I have other bags that will work for different sizes. But I needed a bunch for these size, the one gallon for like tomatoes. Typically tomatoes are grown in two gallons, but these are the only pots I had. And being on limited income, it's hard to afford stuff these days like larger pots or even a lot of people use tote bins as water working systems, but I really don't have the money or the space for that. And so these bags are probably a lot better option for me. And they've worked with my smaller plants. So I'll show you an example. I have a lot of plants just in the small plastic bags. And they've been working well and these ones have been staying a lot more hydrated versus the ones that were out of the bags like these apples so I'll bag up these apples as well and a lot of these peppers are in smaller bags only they're still in their original pots and I've been meaning to up pot them but like I said uh, just don't have the pots right now for them and they've been doing fine in these well okay in these littler containers they might be a little bit root bound but they have been growing peppers so I'm getting peppers so these are even about the same ones about the same size as the ones in our garden back in Birch Island and so As long as it's working for you I guess that's okay so basically I take this bag unfold it like this and put my tomatoes in there just like that make sure these are folded down I guess it doesn't really matter I just like to have them folded down probably more aesthetics than anything but I don't know if it would not be good to have them right up above the top of the pot there. And so now I'll do the rest with the rest of these tomatoes. Okay, so now I got most of these one gallon pots actually in these bags. And so I got some larger pots over there with my kale. And so those are larger pots so they wouldn't fit these bags. For those, I will actually be using these used shopping bags. I could have used the shopping bags with these, but they're just be a little too small and maybe a little finicky. I'm not sure, I think those ones would work best with the freezer bags, and the larger ones can use these larger bags. So I got a ginger here. And just saved from a store-bought ginger root. It's organic root. It's making new shoots. 
So that's good. I can I think the root is actually getting really big now. So I don't know when to harvest it, but I'm thinking I'll let it grow for as long as it wants to. And so I'm just gonna put this. I guess it's the two gallon container. Two gallon? Yeah, it looks like it. Into this bag. And look, it looks like it fits pretty well. But since there's probably little holes in the bottom of this, because they rip easy, I'm just going to double bag it to be on the safe side. And I'm just going to tuck these kind of inward, I guess. Not ideal. I wouldn't have wanted to use them for the smaller pots. But it'll work for what I want to use it for. So it doesn't go all the way up the pot. A little bit wide and I'm just going to tie this up really tight a little tricky hmm. Hmm. Okay. There we go. And this is what it looks like. So it doesn't necessarily look all that pretty, but as long as it's keeping your plants alive and well watered. I think that's all that really matters. And so I'll be doing the same with these kales. Now the cabbage butterflies have really gotten to these kales as you may see. And I just kind of let them because I like watching the butterflies more than anything. And it's not all about the harvest for me. It's like I like biodiversity and my small apartment balcony and and so you might be wondering why are you even bothering with water wicking system for these plants that's really not much left of them well so that they stay well hydrated and so I'm using these smaller bags from before just recycled for these other pots that I kind of forgot about. I don't know why I haven't had them on. Maybe I just forgot to put them on or I thought I already had them, but that would explain the drying out so quickly. So these are already all watered, so I did that before I started the video. Apple should stay hydrated a lot quicker. So with these apples, you might be wondering how can I possibly plant a tree like this on my balcony? Well, I'll keep it in a larger pot and use it as a small kind of a dwarf fruit because the pot size really only determines the plant size. And just because you have a small pot doesn't mean your plant's going to not do so well just means you have a smaller plant basically. It can get a little root bound but if you're using a water wicking system like this it'll definitely help make more water available for those roots. Okay so now I got most of these one gallon pots at least in bags and so I didn't get all the pots because I just didn't have enough bags. Well, I'll, I'll definitely buy more bags and do that soon. Maybe I can salvage some something else to do that with. And so now I'm gonna water them enough so that the water collects in the bottom here. So I actually like to fill up 
my watering can in the bathtub just because it's faster than using the kitchen sink. More volume of water so it fills up faster. It's more efficient that way. And I just carry my watering can across my apartment floor. Open the door. And then I do my watering out here. Okay, so we'll start with, how about this one? So water a lot until it comes out the bottom, basically. I'll let it drain a little bit. So now you see it's coming out the bottom. That's what we want. And we want a good amount in the bottom, just so it clicks there. And once the soil dries out on top, It'll wick up more water, make it more available to the plants. That's a good amount. So I probably won't have to water this for a lot longer. Maybe. Well, I'll have to see how long it lasts, but I'm going to guess maybe five days to a week. It's a good amount of water collecting on the bottom. And so this is what we want. So of course you have to do more watering this way at first. More trips back and forth to the bathtub. But anything to keep these plants well hydrated. Yeah, these plants should be happier. Wouldn't be so stressed out, feeling like they're dying all the time. Okay, just have to get more water. So if you're worrying about standing water and mosquitoes and all that, you shouldn't have to worry with this. Because it's so dry, like we're going into another heat wave. So these plants are going to be sucking up the water relatively fast. So by the time I come back, maybe in a few days, a lot of this water should be used up. But the plants won't be parched like they were for... I'm almost wondering if I'm doing enough or not. We'll see. Once I get a feel for how much water they use, then I can water next time accordingly. Finally, our poor kales. I like the water. Not sure, but I wonder if they actually regenerate their leaves after being eaten like this. We'll have to see. Okay, so it looks like everything is now watered. And I can basically set it and forget it. And hopefully when I come back in a couple days, these plants won't be so parched and thirsty. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope I found this video helpful because I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work out for me, but imagine it'll be better than what I've been doing so far. So we'll see. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your day. Till next time.
Happy growing.